So again, thank you very much for that question. So uh, for us as an institution, uh, we're a Pan-African institution. Uh, what we plan to do is just to unlock the potentials uh, in Africa and the African way. Uh, a couple of years ago, when this company was actually funded, to be specific, 25 years ago, it was actually funded in Cote d'Ivoire by an Ivorian. But today, we're all over African in 12 countries in 22 locations with three banks. Now, in Nigeria, what we are doing, currently doing, I said something the other time about the channels of distribution for insurance. There are three, two major channels, the broker's market, the agency, and the alternative channels. Now, that alternative channel is where my institution is actually focusing on more. Now, the broker's channel is business as usual. You have less than 1,000 brokers there, managing over 200 million people. It's not possible. Now, if you look at the banking sector, there's a data that says over 50% of Nigeria are unbanked. Just the bank people are, the banked people are over 43% or thereabouts. Now, what happens to the rest of those people? Now, some people still keep their money in the house. Now, how do we also unlock the potential in those sectors I've talked about, the younger ones, we need to be there. My institution, for instance, we've adopted a secondary school. So we want to cut them young. We want to start educating them. We're going to NYSE camp. We've developed products we're going to sell to universities to, to them. Now, they actually get allowance. They put it in the bank. Why not buy an insurance cover? We'll give you protection. We'll also give you, help you invest that money. You earn interest on it. But if you put your money in the bank, you're not going to get the life cover. So we want to encourage that saving culture right from a tender age. Now, when you encourage that saving culture, you're doing one thing for the economy. There's a multiply effect. When people are disciplined right from that tender age, they're able to invest. They know they can't just rush to go back to go get that money. Now, when we get that money, we aggregate all of them. We invest that money in public, in government bonds. We also invest that money in commercial papers for large organizations. We also invest that money in banks that they're using funding SMEs. Now, we, we, we're in their space. Now, we're bringing in younger people. We're making insurance attractive to those people to, to come into insurance and to go sell to them. Now, what we're doing in our institution is market segmentation and mapping. Now, we map people that have the same culture, the same value, the same characteristics to go speak to them. Now, you don't expect me to go to a carrying market dressed in my suit this way and say, I want to go sell to them. No. If I want to go to a carrying market, I have to be able to meet them in their element. So what we are doing as an institution is to actually look at the market. Where are the opportunities and what do we need to do? So we, we invest in so much in our retail business and alternative channels, and we're seeing results, and we continue to expand that market and open it up. For, for the younger ones, like I said again, we're in their space already. And where's their space? Technology. We've developed a lot of solutions, and we'll be leveraging that to sell to them. Again, we talk about claims. We talk about buying insurance. You can buy your insurance at a go on your phone in less than five minutes. So we're in that space, and we we'll continue to be in that space. To the Gen Z, I'll say this to you. Uh, you need insurance, and insurance also needs you. Uh, you need to be in that space. Uh, it's your future. Uh, you need to embed that culture now. Uh, if you have that discipline now, your future is actually guaranteed. Uh, but culture of seven is what insurance is actually encouraging. Uh, risk management, we're able to manage your risk, and we're able to design a path for you that your future is actually guaranteed. That's what we're calling into. It's a lifetime opportunity. You have to be in there. Come join us, and let's build a prosperous nation. Thank you very much. God bless you.